thanks very much for the commentary. Knowing that Becky needs to get home for an early rise and knowing all of you need to get home to watch her, I'll be brief. I have one statement, two thanks, and one ask. Archie talked about our Earn Your Future program. When organizations step back and think about their corporate responsibility agenda, they're typically motivated by a few things. Number one, they see a need. And two, they have a specific asset that they can leverage to have an impact, an impact well beyond their organizational desires. Just like the Foreign Policy Association, if you went back to the 60s, saw a need in that our education system was not teaching students sufficiently enough about world, world affairs, PwC saw a need in that 60 to 70 percent of our teachers didn't know how to teach financial literacy in the classroom. And as a result, our next generation, our future leaders weren't equipped coming out of the education system. So as Archie talked about, we launched an Earn Your Future program. Why? We saw the need. Second, we had an asset. In the US, 39,000 employees with the average age of 29 that want to do something, want to have an impact. And last but not least, they're actually kind of skilled in this area. At least, hopefully, my clients think that in the audience. We put a program together that said, let's put online 20 to 30 courses to help teachers. Let's not stop there. Let's actually bring teachers together. So we do three programs around the, world, around the year where we have two to 300 teachers over a weekend and six to 700 virtually teaching them how to teach. And last but not least, with those 39,000 people, the idea was to contribute a million hours of their time so they can help teachers in the classroom with the idea of impacting 2.5 million students in the United States from K through 12 in various aspects that make them better from a financial literacy perspective, but more importantly, better future leaders, politicians, business people, regulators, whatever. Because that next generation, those young kids, those are our future leaders. And I'm thrilled to be here honored by the FPA for the efforts that we are making and more importantly, the impact we're having. So my thanks. First and foremost, I'm only here for one reason. It's because I've got the responsibility to be the CEO of the organization. More importantly, I'm lucky to be in that position, but the thanks goes to the PwC people that are actually in the classrooms each and every day doing this stuff. Table six in the back of the room, which is some of our people, are in the classrooms helping teachers teach. So thanks to the 39,000 people at PwC for the impact they're having. Second, the FPA. As was described earlier in 1918, this organization was formed. It's had an unbelievable track record of filling that need. When you look at the Great Decision Series, when you look at something like Teaching Teachers Institute, going at exactly that issue, and when you look at what's happened over the many years, and specifically Noel, who I knew many years ago when I first got engaged with this organization, I think we all, all of us, owe him and the organization a round of applause for all they're doing. And last but not least, my ask. The reality is the honorees, Frank, Glenn, Jean, Boone, they get it. The people in the audience, you get it. But step back, not everybody does, and not everybody contributes. Not everybody does their part. And it was John F. Kennedy that said, efforts and courage are not enough without purpose and direction. And I'd ask all of us tonight, my ask of all of us tonight, is go out and have an impact on somebody that's not in the room tonight. Give them a chance to see what the future holds. Give them some coaching and some help to make them better leaders. Because that next generation, that's our future. That's the future of this country, and that's the future of this global society that we all live in. Thank you very much for the honor. Thank you for the time, and enjoy dinner.